Greetings, this is Jazz for Jazz Reviews with the return of my top 5 series. This is the heavily requested top 10 easter eggs in gaming. From subtle nods to pop culture or references to other video games, developers do have a sense of humour. What better a place to hide a secret than inside a diverse world of gaming? In this list I'll avoid the more obvious easter eggs that are thrown in your face. The best eggs are often found completely by chance. So let the countdown begin for some of the coolest and wackiest easter eggs I've ever come across. At number 10. Fallout New Vegas, Indiana Jones. Sequels often fall flat in their face, as did Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull for me. Obsidian developers found it fitting to point out that Indy should have died in that fridge, and maybe the entire production with him. Be sure to select a wild wasteland trait in order to find this easter egg and manhandle Indy's corpse. At number 9. Halo 3, The Caveman Family. This is definitely one of the more freaky discoveries in any first person shooter. So past the point of where Sergeant Johnson says his pelican got shot down, and then through the jungle, rocks, and under a tight ledge is the disturbing gathering of what seems to be cavemen bearing the face of Bungie's creative art director, one of which holds a teddy bear. At number 8, The Leap of Failure, Witcher 2. I think we all know who this could be. It's either Altier or some moron trying to be like him. Guess they'll never learn. Good to see CD Projekt taking a friendly stab at Ubisoft. I wonder if there's any real life idiots who have done this. I bet you there's at least one. At number 7, Max Payne, Rats with Guns. Found in Part 1, Chapter 2 is the squeaking hole in the wall. Hurl one grenade into the abyss and wait for the blast. Continue the level and dispatch of enemies left in the sewer before climbing the stairs to find a battalion of rats armed with desert eagles. It's fucking mental. But this game was filled with easter eggs, yet this was definitely the most memorable for me. At number 6. Grand Theft Auto 5, No Country for Old Men, located at the northwest area of the map, is one badass reference to the beginning scenes of one badass movie. Ah! <coughs> they set me up! From San Andreas eggs to the heart of Liberty City, Rockstar seemed to like a good easter egg. Stay away from that case! But stumbling into this mess was by far the coolest easter egg in any GTA game for me. What would have been even cooler is if the briefcase held the same consequences as it did in the movie. Having this nutter after you would give Trevor an interesting run for his money, I think. Halfway there at number 5. Saints Row 2, the giant pink bunny. Easter eggs usually take the small form of an apt reference or just provide a tiny dose of amusement. But no other game has truly embraced madness the way Saints Row have. After following the long ass trail right out of the blue, determined players may find what is called the Cabot. A half cat, half rabbit. Which in itself is a reference to a previous Volition game, The Summoner. Interestingly enough, the Cabot makes return in Saints Row 3, secured to a cargo ship. And this is easily one of the most famous easter eggs to date. At number 4. Dead Space Chapter Titles A game designed to shock and impress horror fans harbors its own little eggs. Some eggs contain in child-based references that hatch into all kinds of twisted shit. But my favourite, and possibly the most mind-blowing though, comes as a major plot spoiler. It's clear now that Isaac's girlfriend's little tape was inconveniently missing a chunk. If one was to look back at the chapter names, it's crystal clear as to why our main protagonist is having these relationship issues. The first letters of the titles collectively spell out the phrase Nicole is dead. She was dead all along from the very beginning and it was right in front of your nose. At number 3. Portal 2. Secret Transmission. So to carry a radio into one of the Ratman's dens, the schizophrenic background character of Portal 2 would be to unlock an achievement, but taking the time to decode the blaring signal is to discover an encrypted SSTV image of a scene in the game which hasn't even happened yet. But no Through further inspection of Portal 2's sound files, you will find recorded lines of dialogue that are not in the game. Mr. Johnson, I don't want this. These lines all relate to the transformation of GLaDOS. I don't want this. No, listen to me. Sir, I do not want this. Supposedly though, Simmons refused to record his half of the scene on account of the script sounding a tad too rapey. At number 2, Batman Arkham Asylum, The Blueprints. 
Fair enough, I didn't find this egg. No one did. In fact, the developers even had to announce it in their Game of the Year podcast. Quincy's secret room could not be located on any of the maps. There was no inclination of any kind, with no clues whatsoever from Batman's detective vision. Quincy's little wall had to be blown up with several applications of explosive gel. Inside, blueprints clearly highlight as to where the sequel game was to take place. And finally at number one, Just Cause 2, The Island of Lost. Again, some easter eggs can get a little carried away. In this case, to fly over this particular island is to lose control of one's plane and plummet down to a replication of the island from the famous TV series Lost. From the markings on the beach, the smoke monster, to the infuriating Dharma hatch and the wonders below, which sadly cannot be accessed no matter how hard you bang on the hatch. Ah, what are you doing? But this is seriously cool for any Lost fan. From games like Half-Life 2, developers have always held a keen interest for the series as it progressed and placed little Lost eggs of their own within projects. This has been Jazz for Jazz Reviews with the top 10 easter eggs in gaming. With very few titles out until January, I'll be uploading quite a few top 10 lists over the weekends. So check in every Friday or so for brand new videos. Follow me all you want on Twitter, which can be found in the description below. Have suggestions for future videos? Leave them in the comment section below and I'll shout you out in the video if that helps. But until next time, new viewers, may you descend into the rabbit hole of all my top 5 lists. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.